Hey kids, my name is Elijah, and have I got a story for you. Some people have a hard time believing God loves them, but not me. God has taken care of me through some really hard times. When I was hiding from mean King Ahab in the desert, God even sent ravens to bring me food every day. Ravens are birds, kind of like crows. To think God showed his love for me through birds. But I couldn't avoid Ahab forever. Even though that troublemaker wanted to kill me, God sent me to prove to him that God was real, and that Ahab's fake gods were, well, fake. I met Ahab on Mount Carmel for a major showdown. He brought 450 of his prophets of Baal. Baal was the fake god Ahab chose to follow instead of the one true god. I told Ahab's prophets to build an altar to Baal, while I built my own altar to God. The god who brings fire to an altar is the one true god, I said. If Baal is god, then follow him. But if the Lord is god, then you must follow him. Those poor prophets of Baal tried and tried and tried and tried to get Baal to send fire. They danced and hollered like a bunch of fools. I told them to yell louder, but it didn't help. I poked fun at them because I knew nothing would happen. Maybe Baal went on vacation. Maybe he's asleep. Maybe he's out going to the bathroom. Then it was my turn. Drum roll, please. I had all the people gather around close so they could see what I was doing. I had them pour 12 big jugs of water all over my altar. It was soaked. Then I stood before my altar and prayed, God, show these people that you're really there. Prove to them that you are the one true God. No sooner had I spoken than a flash of fire blazed out of the sky. In an instant, it burned my altar to a crisp. Everything in it was burned to ashes, even the rocks. Needless to say, everyone was amazed. The people dropped to the ground and cried, yes, the Lord, he is God. Yes, the Lord is God. Yes, yes he is. I've seen a lot of extraordinary miracles. I've watched God do wonders in my life that he didn't do for anyone else. But I'm here to tell you that I would have believed and followed God even if none of that had happened. You probably won't ever see a spectacular sight like fire falling from heaven. But because God honors his friends who believe in him without ever seeing dazzling miracles, that makes you special. That's what having faith is all about. Trusting God even though you can't see him standing in front of you. God is real. And God really loves you. If you look, you really can see God at work in the world all around you. Kind of like the ravens took care of me, in what ways has God provided for your needs, kept you safe, and brought loving people into your life? Think about that for a minute. And then take time to thank God that he is always there and always gives you what you need. Thanks for listening, kids. Hope you have a great day.